so there would be some questions mcq based from the last lesson only though i wanted to discuss them uh, like all together but still let us pick up first chapter now so mcqs so you can note down the questions the story the last lesson highlights dash as a human tendency note down the question be fast the story the last lesson highlights dash as a human tendency the options are male chauvinism procrastination courage and cowardice ha uh, procrastination what's the main like uh, it it highlights procrastination as a human tendency the main theme of the chapter is procrastination p r o c r a s t i n a t i u n the last lesson highlights procrastination okay procrastination the habit of delaying when you keep on saying like i'll do it tomorrow i'll do it later on it is the habit of procrastination and in this chapter how does this chapter uh, delineate this uh, theme because the Fran in the beginning franz was late for school because he did not want to go to school because he had not prepared his lesson why hadn't he prepared his lesson uh, or test on participles because he might have thought that i'll do it later on okay when he reaches school then the teacher is also like uh, 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 complaining or he is also regretting that he did not give his best to the students from there only we come to know that even the parents did, were not very regular about sending students or their children to school regularly because the parents also thought like there is enough time they kept they preferred to send their children uh, for errands either to the field or something else it is a human tendency that we always keep on delaying the things thinking that there is enough time okay even in the month of april we thought like exams will be there in the month of october enough time in august we got to know that the exams will be in the month of november we thought enough time even september came we thought like enough time october went off even then we kept on thinking like enough time now even when the exams are around the corner even then we keep on thinking like okay i'll manage and when the last day would come then we'll all be cribbing like i wish i had done it earlier what it threw out in this chapter procrastination is is you know centered around the theme of procrastination is centered around okay after procrastination why are you talking with us after procrastination what's the second theme the chapter is all about yes after procrastination what would be the second theme yes anyone online vanshika will tell us what's the second theme vanshika instant answers i want yes yes good morning ma'am yes yes beta Hmm. according to me it's importance of our mother tongue importance of our mother tongue okay yes uh, it's about the importance of mother tongue also uh, what okay second theme can be importance of mother tongue or or linguistic chauvinism more than mother tongue's importance it's about linguistic chauvinism you people can note down though it's it, is, it was discussed when the chapter was taught linguistic chauvinism you can note down the spellings of chauvinism c h a u v i n i s m chauvinism is dominance and linguistic is language dominance of language linguistic chauvinism means when you take too much pride in your language and want to impose your language upon others what is linguistic chauvinism when you want to impose your language upon others that is linguistic chauvinism 
okay so if i love punjabi doesn't mean that i would tell uh, you all to speak in punjabi or to write in punjabi or to do everything in punjabi or if i love english then i doesn't mean that i would like you people all to go for english linguistic chauvinism basically it's an official term earlier the britishers who ruled in india they were also linguistic chauvinists that's why they brought english in india they imposed english upon indians why did they do this because they wanted indians to be clerks because they wanted indians to think the way they think when you are not able to when you don't use your language what happens you think superficially mind it you can best think in your own language mind it you can best feel in your language but when some foreign language is imposed upon you your thinking stops this is what the nep new education policy has brought in now now new education policy says that up till a, up till uh, the elementary level or even 8 standard children must not be there should not be any restriction upon the upon the language with which children are you know comfortable the children must be taught in the language they are comfortable with and 99.9% children are always comfortable with their mother tongues okay so no subject nobody can say that tell the children like i have to teach you only in english i have to teach you only in german i have to teach you only if, uh, okay if a tamilian comes in punjab will say like i have to teach you only in tamil no the child the language with which the children are comfortable that only will be used by the by the teacher got it so this is what this lesson is about linguistic chauvinism prevails in the chapter how do we know that linguistic chauvinism prevails the germans invaded france and imposed their german upon french germans imposed french getting germans imposed french so germans are linguistic chauvinists got it so because of this linguistic chauvinism this chapter's story is there got it so linguistic chauvinism has made the whole country called french it has made the common people suffer but the underlying theme is like if the if somebody imposes one's language upon you one cannot make you think and feel in that language you might be uh, speaking english in the english class but at the end if somebody is hurt what do you say then you don't uh, try to say oh my god i'm hurt then the reflex action have comes up in punjabi so that is what the feeling or uh, thinking it happens to be in our mother tongue so we were talking about procrastination linguistic chauvinism then love when linguistic chauvinism is there then importance of mother tongue we realize okay when the punjabis go to england or canada you call as you no know, there here they might be like trying to go for ielts and all but when they reach there they want like uh, they wish to see somebody who speaks in punjabi they yearn to meet some punjabi over there and the moment they find somebody punjabi around them they are very happy wow they feel as if they are in punjab because they start understanding or they start experiencing the importance of mother tongue so mother tongue importance of mother tongue comes when linguistic chauvinism is there so yes it's a chapter about the love for mother tongue okay procrastination linguistic chauvinism love for mother tongue but overall first theme is this second theme is this third is because that is related to linguistic chauvinism love for mother tongue got it so when you will go through the ncert's text then at the back side where you see that, that their questions are written extra uh, you know things are written go through them all from there you'll get so many clues to so many other things they, these words are written there if you had opened up the book today you all buy ncert english flamingo and vistas and read the chapter and even the back exercises each and every word will you do this okay 
Okay, now next question is, minded children, MCQs, you'll be able to understand well when you know the chapter. And from MCQs, the question itself will tell you, will give you something out about the chapter. Okay, question also gives you so much of knowledge. Next question is, the last lesson symbolizes, the last lesson symbolizes, the options are loss of innocence, loss of freedom, loss of language, loss of language and freedom. Ah, so it symbolizes the loss of language and freedom. But supposing this option was not given, loss of language oh, and then what will you say? Loss of freedom, loss of language or uh, uh, loss of um, school, loss of home. Then what will you choose? Loss of language. Because when your language is lost, then you are actually enslaved. Otherwise, you will not mind that you have been enslaved or not. But the moment somebody tells you to think in this language, then you are enslaved actually. Getting? So, so far, this is what in the chapter it was written. He says that the language is the key to freedom. If you are taken, if your language is taken away from you, you are enslaved. Got it? But... But if you can hold on to your language, you will still have the key to become free. When the Britishers had uh, been there dominating Indians, then how did, how did the freedom fighters make uh, ignite the young or the uh, Indians mind for freedom? Inkalab Zindabad, these two words made the Indians wake up and go for freedom. Otherwise, otherwise the Indians were sleeping. They didn't mind like if they were being ruled by Britishers. The awareness was brought in by the slogans like, like Inkalab Zindabad. Or you can tell me more. What did Lala Lajpat Rai say? Who said like, give me blood and I'll give you freedom? Who said this? Subhash Chandra Bose. So the words, words ignited the people. And words are in language. So language, very important. And they didn't utter these words in English, mind it. They might have uttered these words in their own language. Only then they reached the masses. So words are important. Words means language. Okay. Okay, next question is, what do the marching soldiers write down? The moment you'll be writing, you'll be physically also active. Okay, what do the marching soldiers under the windows represent? <clears throat> what do the marching soldiers under the windows represent? The options are the dawn of Prussia in the defeat of French people, the dawn, the dawn, D A W N, of the dawn of Prussia. In the defeat of French people. Second option is the defeat of Prussia. Third option is the victory of the victory of French. And fourth option is. Army routine. Army routine. So what do you think is the answer? A. That is the dawn of Prussia in the defeat of French. The marching soldiers in the streets that indicated now that the Germans have now taken over French. Got it? Now, uh, just a few months ago, when Taliban was, when Taliban intruded upon which country? Uh, Afghanistan. What did they do? They let their forces go there. That's it. So it's the army which overtakes a country. That is how it happened. So marching soldiers, that was the marching of the soldiers of German, that was symbolic of that they had overtaken French. France. 
Next question is, what did France find on reaching the school? What did France find on reaching the school? What did France find on reaching the school? Got it? Options are, people were dancing, school was closed, police patrolling, strange quietness, strange quietness. So these options were very easy. These kinds of options will not be there in the final paper. Okay, they will give you the options which will be all closely related and you will feel that all these are correct and you'll have to find out the most most important that is quietitude the most important one feeling if you are to talk about like he was stunned by the quietitude of the school because otherwise there was always what rapping of the table by teachers or uh, the rumbling of the tables and chairs like this or or the children coming and going, hustle and bustle of the children coming and going in the morning. So there were routine noises to be heard in the very morning, but today no such noise was coming. Hmm. Yes, repeat please. Okay. Uh, so if the question is same, like uh, what made him uh, get struck, uh, like get surprised along with these options, if the option is like uh, uh, the presence of villagers in the class, then what will be your answer? No, even then quietitude, because the very first thing which struck him the moment he entered the school was that the whole school was quiet. He saw the villagers when he entered the class. Sequencing also remember. Okay. Okay. Next question is why was France this we have done? Yeah. Why was France surprised? Why was France surprised? I mean, so no options I'm giving you. Without options, never come to conclusion. Maybe the thing which you are considering, I'm not even giving. Okay, so the options are, why was France surprised? Options, because of village elders, because of police patrolling, because of students' behavior, because of M. Hamel's kind and polite behavior. A option, because of villagers, the presence of villagers. Because from outside, he saw that villagers were there. Teachers, teacher was uh, quiet, uh, kind that he, saw later on. See what happened first. Next question, why were the parents sending their children to the farms and mills? Why were the parents sending their children to farms and mills? The options are to play, to meet friends, to meet relatives, to earn money, to earn money. Okay, let me give you more other options now. This kind of question will not come. Okay, the question is like, why did children send their, uh, why did parents send their children to farm and mills? The options are, because they thought like, uh, uh, they would be able to earn, children will be able to earn money side by side. Secondly, because they did not think the school was very important. Third, because they thought that school can be attended the next day also. Fourth option, uh, B and C. Fourth option is B and C. Okay, what did I say for B? Huh? School is not very important, right? And uh, they also felt like uh, they can attend the school next day. So B and C option is correct. So it means that your D answer would be correct. Got it? Why did they want like children should earn more money? Because they thought school is not very important. You, this is your inferential quality. How you infer the knowledge? 
supposing right now i tell you uh, beta uh, mm, mask up mask up the teacher told him to mask up why the options are number 1 covid might uh, be there b option because it is for his safety only because it's a, it's for the safety of all or all children and teacher also and fourth um uh, wait uh because that is uh, that is the covid protocol hmm uh covid protocol is also correct right c option i said that because it is for the good of everybody and a b was that it is good for him so c is correct because we follow the covid protocol for the safety of all getting so we were talking about like their parents sent their children to the this and that place to earn money why did they do this this option is like it is for the covid protocol it's okay but actually the meaning was the feeling is that the school is not very important earning money is more important and moreover the school can be attended next day also so what and this is a very common feeling among people not only in france but also in india okay though the government has made compulsory education at, till the age of 14 yet and and the compulsory and free education plus meals are also provided by government even then those people don't don't, don't send children to schools because they think their children can earn more money i'm talking about labor class they are getting all benefits okay 